Welcome to Systemize Videos. This video highlights the difference between assignees and users and how to create each. You may be wondering how assignees and users are different. Assignees have tasks assigned in Systemize, but complete those tasks outside of the database, like templating, fabrication, or installation. Users need to do work in Systemize to keep track of job details, job progress, and customer and account information. Some individuals may need to be both an assignee and a user. Others may only need to be one or the other. Let's take a look at assignees first. Assignees have activities assigned to them and may need to view things in Systemize, like the calendar. Using assignees helps you keep track of who is responsible for tasks to get jobs completed. Assignees can be individual people. They can also be things like teams or even trucks. There is no charge for assignees and no limit on how many you have. Creating them only takes a few clicks. Under Settings, Job, Assignees, click the Create icon. Enter one assignee name or several at a time, one name per line. The Sequence column shows what order the names will be displayed in drop-down lists. To change the order, click on any underlined number, then click, hold and drag to move the name up or down the list. Click on any assignee name to enter a description and add a color for color coding calendar displays. This is also where you can inactivate an assignee, so they no longer show as an option, but a record of their work is retained. Calendar views are a great way to display activities by assignee, providing information at a glance about who needs to be doing what. Many customers keep views like this on an easily accessible monitor in the shop for everyone to see. Now, let's talk about systemized users. Users are individuals who need to log into the database to do things like create jobs, update calendars, assign activities, or add information to forms. Systemize users can also be created in a few quick steps. Go to the Settings menu, Users and Roles, Users, then click the Create icon. If you also use CounterGo, you can select any existing CounterGo user and add them to Systemize. They will only need one login. If users have both CounterGo and Systemize access, they can toggle between the two. To create a new user, enter a username without any spaces. A little further down you'll be able to enter their full name. Give the user a password and confirm it by re-entering it. If you want the user to change this initial password when they log in, check the box Must Change Password. It's very important to enter an email address for the user. This email address is where a recovery link will be sent if they forget their password. Selecting an assignee or salesperson will automatically attach those individuals to jobs and activities when they are created by this user. Selecting login from anywhere will allow the user to log in from any computer or device with internet access. User access can be limited to certain computers or locations if you know the IP addresses of those specific computers. Every systemized user must have a role. Roles specify permissions in the database. Not every user has to have the same set of permissions. Roles are assigned to users and allow or limit user functionality. There are roles built into Systemize, and they can be customized or more can be created to suit your needs. Unlike assignees, there's a charge for additional users over the number included in your subscription. Check out the Systemize knowledge base for more articles and videos. If you'd like to talk with one of our friendly Systemize experts, email support at moreware.com. Thanks for stopping by.